Good morning. I'm Stampin' Dee Dee, and this is Stampin' Thursday, and I'm so glad to be here with you this morning. And I hope that you are having weather as beautiful as the weather we are having right now. It is cool, and it a little windy maybe, but that's okay. We'll take the wind. And um, some rain last night, which we haven't had for the whole month of October. So, it, it is beautiful. We turned the air conditioning off, so hopefully no more big electric bills. Anyway, I hope your weather is beautiful too. And thank you for being here with me. Um, if you are, if you're watching this live, please say hello and let me know where you're watching from. Um, I appreciate that so much. And if you're watching the replay, thank you for doing that. Let me know that you're watching the replay. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you, thank you. Thank you to my YouTube subscribers. I love you. And I love to know that you're watching the video. So um, please let me know. And if you have any questions just leave it in the comments and um, or email me, and I will get back to you. So, let's see. Um, next week, my Stampin' Thursday is going to be done from San Antonio. So, um, I'm going to take my stuff with me. I, I thought about just skipping the Stampin' Thursday, but... It is one I have looked forward to. It's a technique day. And um, the technique that I'm going to um, use is one I saw not too long ago. And I loved it. I loved it. So I couldn't wait to share it with you. And so I'm going to take everything with me. And I hope you'll tune in for next Thursday's Stampin' Thursday. And um, so, let's get started. This is the sketch that we are using. And if, if, you, if you watch me, if you know me very well, you know that I love to use sketches. I, I, I'm inspired by sketches. Um, because I'm not, I am not a creative person on my own. Um, but when I see something, I can envision redoing that and making it mine. When I see a sketch, I can see ways to do that, ways to to um, incorporate different things into it. And so, I, I really like sketches. Plus, it takes some of the difficulty away because you you don't have to figure out measurements. I mean, I, you still, I do. I, I always figure out what my measurements are going to be. But I know, like on this one, I knew I was going to have three rectangles and some kind of a sentiment piece. Um, so, let's get started with this. The base that you use for this card is 8.5 by 5.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. And then if you choose to use a mat, which I usually do, then that would be five and a quarter by four. And then your rectangles are two and a half by one and three fourths. So I will have all of this on my blog, all of the measurements. I'll have a picture of the sketch. I'll have all of that ready for you this afternoon on Stampin' Dee Dee's doing or Stampin' Dee Dee's spot dot blogspot dot com. Stampin'DDSpot.blogspot.com. And I will also put it down um, on the YouTube. I'll put it down below the video. All right. So we're going to use this sketch. And I'm going, I've cut my pieces to make this a little bit faster today. Because this is Halloween, right? Happy Halloween. And some of us are getting costumes ready for our kids or grandkids. I'm not, but some of you are. And um, so, so I used Knight of Navy, my eight and a half by five and a half. 
and my card mat, my um, mat is basic white. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on because I don't have any reason not to go ahead and put it on. All right. So we're going to... Now, if you wanted to wrap ribbon around this or something, then certainly you would do that before you put it on your base. And I've already pre-cut my rectangles, and those are with designer series, or I use designer series paper. Now, you could use cardstock. You could use a mixture. But I used three pieces out of the Citrus Blooms designer series paper. Um, I love the blue side, so um, I wanted to incorporate those. So I'm going to arrange it. Now, the other thing is with a sketch, you can turn it this way. You can do it any direction. Um, I, I kept this card pretty close to the original so you could see. All right, I'm pretty much going to do this. And my sentiment piece, you know, <laughs> I, I should have written down, because I'm terrible at remembering. Um, this is out of one of my stamp sets, and doggone it, I can't remember which one, but I went ahead and stamped the sentiment that I wanted to use. And I'm probably going to put it up about there. Maybe we'll see. So I've already got that done. So I'm going to go ahead and get this piece down. <laughs> and I'm going to put it right about here. And then I'll get this piece. Let's see, do I want it on top of these? Let me see. Yeah, I think I do. Just make it a little bit different. I'm just using my seal. So, um... I'm going to put this one right about here. And then this one's going to go on top. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Make sure that's straight. And I'll put this one over here. I don't know where all these little flecks of gold came from. But I've got flecks of gold all over my counter. All right. And then these from, I, I went ahead and stamped and die cut these from the sketched butterflies. Surely that's not, let me see. Alright, so I'm going to put this. I want to put one of my butterflies at the bottom of this. I think. I've also got, oh no, there. I've got some ribbon that's on the floor. I also used some of the navy, not of navy and gold. That's where the flex came from, of course. <laughs> This, the gold flecks in the ribbon. So, trying to decide if I want my ribbon at the bottom of this and my butterflies or I could move this in a little bit. 
and put that there. It shows up better there, doesn't it? And the ribbon here, maybe, and here, and here. All right, I think we're going to do that. All right, that means I'm putting this one in a little bit further, and I'm going to use dimensionals to put it in. But you see how the sketch can afford you so much freedom to do it the way you want to do it. Now, I do want to cover the very ends of that. So I'm going to do it like that. Only I think it needs to be a little bit straighter. Okay. All right, then I'm going to tie my bow, and this is going to produce even more gold speckles, but we're not opposed to gold specks, are we? We can't have too much bling. Okay. This is where we knock them off. <laughs> yeah, they're falling. Need it to be a little smaller. I love creating from a sketch. It just, I don't know, it gives me confidence. Maybe if I've, after I've done this for 20 years, I'll have the confidence to do it without a sketch. <laughs> Think I'm going to be around that long? I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to get a glue dot and use that on my ribbon. And I'll put that, and I'm just going to put it here, right? I'll put, put it right there. And I'm going to put my gold butterfly, I mean my blue. I've got glow, gold on the brain. So I need a mini glue dot on this wing because it's hanging off. And then I'll use... I don't want to cover up my birthday. Use just a little bit of adhesive right there. You know, I think my glue dot, I mean my dimensional, needs to be a little more this way. All right, there we go, there we go. And I need to trim my ribbon Trim the tails. Okay. And then this one, I don't know, maybe here. What do you think? It shows Maybe bring that down a little bit. Yeah, I think not quite so spread out. <clears throat> this one's good. And I could do these on dimensionals. I think I will. Why not? Why not? Let's see. Put a big dimensional right in the middle. You know what, we could even take our wings and fold them up a little bit. Make it look more like a butterfly. Okay, how about right there? Yeah. And this one, put it with a dimensional at the top. Right there. All right. How's that? Now I don't. I didn't cut my piece for the inside, but I would probably stamp a butterfly on the inside. But the main thing was to see how we could follow the sketch. Now you could add um, bling. You could add gems. 
just looking at it, see if I needed to add any to this one. I don't think I do. I think, I think that looks really good. What do you think? It follows the sketch, doesn't it? Do you like this sketch? So let me know what you think about that. All right, I have a couple more samples. Let me pull those out. So this one I did with Humble Home and the Wildly Flowering Designer Series Paper. I did use gems on this one. I cut, I fussy cut one of the flowers out of one of the patterns. And my Humble Home Punch. I didn't put the inside, but I did do the um, envelope. So there's that one. Put this down here. Now this one I took a little bit more liberty. I used a circle here. And this one I just used a smaller cinnamon piece. I, die, I fussy cut, maybe I die cut one of those, I'm not sure. Probably fussy cut the um, birds. I used ribbon and twine. I was just looking to see the twine is not showing so much on this side. But I did use ribbon and twine behind the sentiment piece. But still the same layout with the uh, uh, nest of winter designer series paper. And <clears throat> I did the envelope. Oh, I had some other pieces in here that, that I ended up not using. I think, oh, I know, I've got those to put on the inside. So I haven't done that yet. All right, so you can see, I mean, they're all very different, but they follow the sketch really well. Which one is your favorite? Hi, Kay. Thank you. Which one do you like best? I know which one you like best, but you tell me which one do you like best. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope that I've inspired you to grab this sketch. Like I said, you can get it off my um, blog, stampandeedyspot.blogspot.com. I'll put it there for you. And give it a try. Get out your different designer series papers and, and um, give it a try. It gives you the opportunity to mix and match some of your papers. All right. Well, I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. Uh, I pray that you enjoy that with either in your home, handing out goodies to the kids that come by, or maybe you're going to be out with grandparents or as grandparents with your grandkids. Maybe I like the bird best. Yeah, <laughs> I figured you'd like the bird best. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you'll give it a try. All right. I told you it would be short today. And there really isn't a whole lot. It wasn't hard to make the card. And and um, well, it didn't take long to show you the samples. So have a wonderful Halloween. Be safe. Thank you for watching. And see you next Thursday for that unique technique a unique technique that i think you'll love i i think you'll love it and it's so 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 easy all right take care god bless bye bye